Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about Lost Explorers. Now this is a brand new game and to be honest when I got it I didn't know much more than it looked pretty cool. Now it's a game that's got a very unique feature. The box is also the game board and it's also where all of the tokens and the tracks uh, live so you've got the game almost fully set up by just opening the box. Now, straight away, I was, to be honest, quite wowed by this production. It's got nice sort of a, a magnetic close uh, on that, so it stays there quite nicely. And you know, this looks quite impressive when you open it. The issues, however, with the, some of this production is that it doesn't necessarily work as well as it could. Now, first of all, this is a very small board area. You've got uh, the locations which are relatively well spaced out and the symbols are very much easy to read. They're color coordinated and shapes as well, just in case uh, there's a you know, color blind issue, that's not there. You know, the green is more of an oval, the, uh, the yellow is a rectangle and stuff like that. But this being in the middle of a table, you know, as soon as this is across the table from you, it's quite small. And a regular board that, you know, you take out the box would easily be four times bigger than this. And that's one problem. The next problem is with the tokens here. Now, if I lift this up, you can see there are two areas for tokens. Now, the game works because you put meeples down on these two areas. If you put one meeple down, you take the first token, and that will either then be a, a transport or a mission. If you put two down, you take the second one in. Now, once you've taken a load of these tokens out of the box, unfortunately, these start to really slip down, and it's hard then, without being able to look in the top, to see what's actually the next token. And I feel like this game has really suffered from overproduction in terms of it looks great. The idea of here, you know, open the box is basically all set up for you apart from a few tokens underneath. And it just doesn't work. It really hampers the gameplay. It's slightly hard to see across the board. And yeah, I just, it could have been so much better. Anyway. That is Lost Explorers, still potentially a fun game for families, but not for me. Anyway, until next time, I'm Oliver East, signing out.